Hi everyone, welcome back to your channel. I'm here with another tutorial and it's about uh, how you can create your custom password policy in Keycrop. Uh, although it's about uh, the custom SPI, but the case study is only focusing on password uh, policy. So actually is a customized passport policy. If you are interested in this topic, please stay with me and let get us started. So first, you would need to open running the server, the Keycloak server, and after that, insert the username and password, and you will uh, jump to the environment of the Keycloak. Then, uh, we will come to authentication part and then we have the policy. In this part, we can add the, some password policy, which is, uh, will help for definition of the password. Based on the, this attribute, when you add it in the, the Keycloak server, then after that, when you want to define the user and password, based on the, this policy it will allow you to define the password so what i did i defined the custom password policy which is not exist uh, in default version of the key clock it's my idea and i added and as you can see there are some uh, policy as a default here but uh, I added one specific uh, item as a sequence password. What is the sequence password? Uh, I had some uh, methodology to say that, okay, if the password is with the one simple algorithm, like one, two, three, four, five, like A, B, C, D, E, F, then the key clock should uh, stop me to insert such this password to tell me okay this password is against of the policy and please select another password or make it more stronger so let the uh, show to you that how it works and then uh, um, we will jump to the coding part after this demo. Let first to create the one uh, user uh, as a sample. For example, I just want to create the one user test user. Okay, then create this test user and then I want to define the one credential. Yeah, let me just make it uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, six. Okay. And I'm saving. It's saved. The password has been successfully set. So let me just delete this user. And then I'm going to go to the policy and then select this sequence password, which I defined. Okay. Now is saved. Then let's get back here at the user. Again, test user, create, credential, set password. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Save. Here you go. Error saving password. Password must not contain a sequence of the three or oh this pass anyway it's not allow me to set this password because it the, the system understood it is some sequence on that one and then asking me okay select another password so i'm going to select another password it's just not the digital i'm saying that okay a b c d e f a b c d e f and save it. Yes, a sequence of the three or more 
consecutive numbers or letter because for my policy is including the digits and also uh, characters. So let's try again another type of that. In this time, I want you to do one, two, three, or not look because it uh, needs need to three characters or three digits to be uh, not select seven, uh, uh, zero, five, randomly, not not in sequence, uh -huh. and three, nine. Okay, I think it's enough. Then let try it this way. Then save. Here you go. Is accepted because it's not defined in sequence and it was uh, some some numbers which could be as a random number and it's not in this way it's not the simple and cannot guess it very simply and also for let reset the password for the the characters like uh, a b g t u x and then I'm saving this again. Here you go. It's accepted because it was not in sequence like A, B, C, D, E, F. Now, a little bit make it more complex. Let's like a, uh, to do like this way, A, B, okay. Uh, for example, F. And then why? Then let let do it some something like that. A B C D E F. Let's see in this way. We'll accept. Will not accept. Why? Because I define the some part of the this uh, uh, password in as a character which was in sequence and the the conditions which i defined at least it needs three characters to be uh, similar or not similar in sequence that's why now it stopped me to uh, save such this password based on the this policy and if i remove this passport policy from here if I remove it then get back here again to the user and I want to define this user uh, reset password Let, let's do it again one two three four five six one two three four five six here you go you can see now is accepted and it's working fine so this is the the demo part for to understanding what we are going to explain and what would be the result in the next session we will jump to the coding part to explain that uh how this part can be done and how you can implement your custom SPR.